want to talk about vulnerability really quick. But my idiot dogs are. <laughs> hey, fools! Knock it off! Knock it off! I gotta film this! Come here. Come here. Come here. Here, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> All right. Okay, for real. Go away. Go away. Go away. So there's a vulnerability right now in Excel that nobody's really talking about. And I'm not sure if they're not considering it a vulnerability, but I want to show you guys and you can make up your own mind. So let me show you. I got an Excel document right here. Go away, dogs. Go away. And in the Excel document, uh, I'm going to go ahead and encrypt it. So I just come over here to file and I go to info and I say protect. And then I say that I want to encrypt it with a password. And I'll make the password something simple to say test. And I'll do it one more time. And there we go. So now we see that it's protected. So let's go ahead and save this thing. And I'm going to go ahead and just save it as a uh, file called test. So I hit test. And we're all set. So now let me close this. Now what we'd expect when I open this file back up is that the file should ask me for a password. So the file's opening up. And sure enough, there it is. Once we type in the password, I type it in. And now I can get into it. And this is useful for if you're putting some sort of confidential information or things like that into a document and you want to keep it just a little bit extra secure, you can encrypt it and that should help out a little bit. Uh, criminals also like to use this stuff. They like to use it a lot because if I want to put macros into this or other malware that I want to hide inside of the Excel file, but I don't want AV or other security solutions to be able to detect it, if I can get it encrypted inside of the Excel file and email it to you, well then your AV hopefully won't detect it and you'll still be vulnerable because when you open it up and you enter the password, then the macros can run or whatever bad stuff can happen. Now, the problem with it for criminals is, let's say that I want to send this out and I'm a bad guy. So I'm going to send you an email and I attach this file. So now you've got this encrypted file. Now in the email body, I'm going to have to say something like, hey, uh, I'm sending you this secure document Here's the password, open it up, <laughs> which is pretty stupid because obviously why would somebody send you the password in the email? Kind of defeats the purpose of the security. So hopefully you would know better that if you receive an email and it has an Excel sheet attached and they've included the password in the email, you might want, want to not want to put that password in there because something bad could happen. And criminals know this. Criminals realize that people are onto them and so it's probably not going to work. So what criminals have realized is they need to figure out a way that they could send you this Excel data sheet and put their malicious macro in or whatever they want to do and encrypt it and yet still figure out a way that you can open it without actually having to enter a password. So that way you wouldn't know that it was encrypted and you wouldn't know that your AV couldn't check it. So check this out. What I want to do now is the exact same thing I did before. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to say file. I'm going to go into info. I'm going to protect the document. And this time I'm going to put a new password in. And there's my new password. I'm not going to tell you what it is quite yet. And there's my new passwords in there. And I'm going to go ahead and save. So now, again, should be encrypted. So let's go ahead and close this one out. Open the exact same file up again. Holy crap, check that out. It didn't ask me for a password. So now I know what you're thinking. Well, obviously that means it wasn't encrypted. It wasn't a secured file. So let's go ahead and look at this file. I'm going to make it a TXT file just so you can see what's going on inside. And I open it up, and as you can see right here, it says it actually was encrypted. So you go, okay, well, what gives? I mean, how could it possibly be that it's both encrypted, but at the same time, not actually asking for a password? And that's a great question. And I started wondering this myself, like, why would this be a thing? And it turns out, that for whatever reason, in Microsoft's infinite wisdom, they've decided that they would have a very specific password that they would have Excel try every time it opened up a document. I don't know why, but right now, if you happen to use this password, Velvet Sweatshop with a capital V and a capital S, as your password, Every time Microsoft Excel attempts to open up an Excel document that's been secured, that's been encrypted, go away, dogs. Uh, every time it tries to open these things up, it's going to go ahead and automatically try this one password. If this password happens to be the password that was used to lock this file down, 
it will open the file automatically. So as we saw, the file just literally opens up. We don't have to type in a password or anything at all. So, you, oh my God, dogs, seriously, help a brother out here. Go away, go away. Seriously, go, be gone. No, for real, go. All right, so as I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted by my dogs, is that you have to worry about this now because now if you think about it from a criminal standpoint, this means I can go ahead and create an encrypted file, put in this password, this velvet sweatshop for some reason, mail it off to somebody. Their antivirus isn't going to see it because it's an encrypted mess. I won't have to tell them the password in the email or even tell them that it was encrypted. When they open the document up, it'll automatically open up and not require that password and they'll be at the exact page we're at right now. Um, I don't know how this isn't considered a vulnerability. Uh, this is a security issue. I don't know why they automatically try to open every file up with this password, but I really think they should stop. So if you agree with me, uh, by all means, please send this around and let other people know. If you don't agree with me, <laughs> well, if you don't agree with me, well, you're wrong. So there you go. Anyway, uh, have a lovely day. Goodbye.